why we celebrate Rakhi? Or rather, what is the story behind the celebration of Rakhi? Well, that is what I'm going to do today to tell you what is the story behind celebrating Rakhi in our very own channel, Amu and You, where I am Amu and you are here to hear very interesting stories from me, like the story of Rakhi today. Rakhi is a beautiful festival celebrated by the Hindus. Now, in ancient times, many, many, many years ago, there was a Vanar king, a monkey king named Bali. And he was the king of Kishkinda in the Hindu epic Ramayan. Now, what's an epic? Epic is a long, 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 interesting story. So in that epic, Bali was a Vanar king of Kishkindha. He was son of Indra, Lord Indra, and the elder brother of Sugriv. He had obtained a boon that allowed him to receive half the strength of his opponents. So whenever there was a fight, he would already add on to half the strength of his opponents. So who could defeat him? Difficult, right? He was an ardent follower, devotee of Lord Vishnu. He would pray, 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 pray to Vishnu all the time. And he did it with so much of commitment and devotion that one day Lord Vishnu was so pleased and moved by his devotion, he appeared before King Bali. Now can you imagine what Bali did when he saw Lord Vishnu in front of him? He was just overjoyed. He fell on the ground in reverence, thanking him for that appearance. Lord Vishnu, the benevolent one, the kind one, who always loves his devotees, he was so pleased with Bali and his devotion that he asked him to ask for a boon. And friends, guess what did Bali ask? He said that I am such a devotee of you, Lord, that I want to worship you day and night, continuously, without any disturbance and any break. So, Lord, for that sort of a worship, can you please be present in front of me all the time? Now, Lord Vishnu could not deny him that because he had asked him to ask for a boon. And so what did he do? He stayed there as Bali's gatekeeper, Chokidar, like we call. He stood there at the door of Bali's room as his guard. Bali, of course, could not believe his luck. He was so happy, so happy, so happy. He set out on his worshipping Lord Vishnu again. Days passed, weeks passed, years passed and Bali kept on worshipping him. Now friends, you know, in ancient times it is said that the devotion and commitment was so strong that it could move the gods and hence gods would appear and grant boons and the things that may appear supernatural to us was not very supernatural then and so Lord Vishnu staying there as a god for Bali was an easily done thing of course easily we are saying forgetting the utter devotion of King Bali. No food, no drink and they did not need it also because their mental power and their devotion overpowered everything. To attain such a state 
one must really work, work, work hard to prepare and gain that mental strength and hence the physical strength. With Lord Vishnu staying at Bali, his wife, Goddess Lakshmi, started missing him. She started saying, it's been so long that my husband, my Lord is away and I'm missing him. I want him back. Now, how can he, how can she get him back? Because she started uh, sending messages to Lord Vishnu that please come back my Lord. But Lord Vishnu smiled and said that how can I, my dearest, I have given a boon to my devotee and I have to be present here all the time for him. Now, Goddess Lakshmi thought of a plan. She disguised herself as a woman asking for shelter and reached Bali's house. She knocked at the door asking for help. Bali opened the door and she came in and as soon as she came in she took out a red thread and tied it on his right hand making him her brother and saying that this red thread will always protect him from all evil. Bali was moved and honored by this gesture. And on knowing that who she was, asked her, Goddess, what can I do for you in place of this honor that you have bestowed upon me? And no wonders, what did Goddess Lakshmi ask for? Please let my husband go. And so Bali happily agreed and let Lord Vishnu go back to Goddess Lakshmi to his abode. Since then, from that time onwards, it is celebrated as Raksha Bandhan or Rakhi, where the sister ties a red thread on the right wrist of the brother, assuring him to be safe from all evils, with the promise of protection from her brother, which he would give out of love. Nowadays, this Rakhi is tied by anyone. The sister can tie it to the brother, the brother can tie it to the sister and both of them promising to be there for each other throughout their lives. One interesting thing more, do you know why this Rakhi is tied always on the right hand? Well, since it is believed that the clockwise direction is in order with the universe. All the planets, everything is moving clockwise and it moves from right to left. And so this clockwise motion is used for all good rituals. Hence, the right hand is used to tie Rakhi. Now, there are many other stories behind the celebration of Rakhi. This is one story that I wish to narrate to you. I have narrated other stories also before on Rakhi and I would do the others remaining ones later sometime. For today, happy Raksha Bandhan to all of you. Celebrate this festival of love and joy and Rakhi or no Rakhi, be there for each other because that is what is true love all about. Like the story? Let me know. Write your comments in the comment section below the video. Thank you so much for listening to the story and thank you so much for always being there to listen to my story. Continue doing so. And continue engaging with me by sending your thoughts through the comments. I'll come back soon again. Till then, bye-bye. Stay blessed and stay happy always.